welcome to SS Turkey channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button and hit all to be notified regarding the latest updates. The content of this short video presentation is rationalization of few questions about the uh, intelligence uh, cycle. This is the continuation of the uh, intelligence cycle part 1. No? Ito na po yung part 2. So let us start this by answering these uh, questions. Okay? Question number 1. It is a phase of intelligence cycle in which the collecting agency will determine what specific information to be collected, by whom and from whom, or from where it will be collected. Letter A, collection of information. Letter B, dissemination and use. Letter C, processing of information and delta, directing the collection effort. No? And the answer for this question is... Uh, Alpha, that is uh, collection of uh, information. No, is a puyan sa definition ng collection of information. The pui second phase ng intelligence cycle, ladies and gentlemen, wherein the uh, uh, collecting agency will uh, determine uh, the uh, uh, area where the information will be collected and to whom it will be collected, and of course, who will be the one to collect the. Uh, information another definition of collection of information it also refers to systematic exploitation or utilization of the sources of information by collection agencies and the delivery of the information obtained to the proper intelligence unit or agency now ano naman yung collection agency collection agency refers to any person unit or any activity that collects and or process information by research surveillance or exploitation of sources of information and of course if they will collect information meron pong tinatawag po na collection plan ano ba yung collection plan no plano kung paano isasagawa yung pag-collect ng information syempre it is a dynamic tool used to coordinate and integrate the efforts of all collection units and agencies, assist the collection manager in organizing his thought. In collection of information, the following factors must be considered to learn who will collect the information, what will be the specific information to be collected, where are the places where the information shall be collected, when is the right time to gather information, how is uh, the information shall be collected and why uh, shall uh, this information be collected? Is it important? Yeah. So, yun po yung tinitingnan doon po sa collection plan. Okay? So, let us proceed to question number two. What is the highest intelligence requirement essential to planning and it serves as basis for intelligence operation and are personally approved by the commander? Ano ba yung highest priority uh, or highest intelligence requirement? Ano ba yung pinaka gustong kolektahin? No? Letter A, EEI. Letter B, balance. Letter C, capability. Letter B, suitability or in multiplicity. Ayan. So, uh, the highest intelligence requirement that should be collected, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call as EEI. O yung tinatawag na essential elements of information. Kasi yun po yung kailangan para sa pagpaplano, para magkaroon po ng decision. Okay? So, ganun po. For example po, no? Uh, bago mag-raid, ano yung mga information na kailangan bago po mag-conduct ng raid? Yan. So, yung pong information na kailangan sa planning on how to conduct raid, ang tawag doon ay EI or Essential Elements of Information. Okay? So, ano yung mga other choices such as balance capability, uh, suitability, multiplicity? These are criteria of a collection plan. When I say balance, uh, it is usually used to describe a condition in which two different things or, or variables are equal. In the context of intelligence, the word balance refers to the relationship between workload and the number of agencies utilized to collect the desired data. Capability refers to the quality of being uh, able to perform something as measured by persons 
mental and physical fitness to perform the assigned task, no? capability o kakayahan po ng tao na i-assign siyempre. Then, suitability refers to the quality of having the properties that are right for a specific purpose. The collection task assigned to a particular office must be compatible with its mission. So, suitable ba? No? Yan, for example po, ha, yung uh, suitability nito, for example, ang pinapakuhang impormasyon ay tungkol po sa drug trafficking. Siyempre, kanino ibibigay yung pong, uh, pagkuha ng impormasyon tungkol doon, usually the PDEA, yung Intelligence uh, Unit or Intelligence Group ng Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. Ayan. Then, we have multiplicity. This equality or state of being multiple or the number of components in a system. Normally, the evaluation of information requires that it must be compared with the information received from other sources and agencies. Subject to the consideration of suitability, more than one agency is used to obtain information. Okay, so mas marami kasi yung sources, mas maganda. For example, uh, papakuha ng information tungkol sa drugs sa Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, of course, uh, supported by the intelligence group of the Philippine National Police. Okay, question number three. If the symbol of the source of information is you, this means that the information was derived from letter A, direct uh, observation by the commander of a unit, letter B, report by penetration agent or resident agent, C, interrogation of captured enemy agent or foreigner, and Delta, report by an AFP trooper or a PNP personnel in an uh, encounter. And the answer for this uh, question is Bravo! No, yung pong sagot dito sa question number 3. Ayan. So, yung sources of information at yung symbol, T means uh, the information is a direct observation by the commander and chief of a unit. U reports by penetration or resident uh, agent. Depende po sa operation. No? Sa intelligence operation, dalawang klase kasi yung operation. Meron tayong tinatawag na infiltration at saka penetration. Yan, pagka nagpasok po nga ng agent sa loob ng isang uh, organized crime group or isang organization, ayan po ay tinatawag na infiltration kapag ka nag-recruit naman mula sa target organization ang tawag po doon ay uh, penetration. Okay? Ayan. At ang nakakalito pa dito, pagka yung operation po ay penetration, no? Ang uh, agent na ginagamit is resident agent kasi nga magre-recruit ka. Kapag ka naman ang gagamitin na operation ay infiltration, ang ginagamit pong agent ay yung pong tinatawag na deep penetrating agent or yung pong DPA. Ayan. Then V, report by uh, PNP or AFP troops involved in an encounter. W, interrogation of captured enemy or yung pong foreigner or yung uh, prisoners of war. X, uh, observation of uh, government and civilian employee or uh, official. Y, observation by a member of populace. And of course, Z is uh, documentary. Okay? So, question number four po tayo. In police intelligence uh, is... Uh, Information always or it's always gathered uh, in covert method or true covert method. This statement is letter A true, letter B false, letter C partly true, and delta partly false. Siyempre ang sagot po dyan ay bravo. That is false. Why? Because there are two methods of gathering information. First is covert and second is uh, overt. No? Pag sinabi natin covert method, it is a clandestine or it is conducted in clandestine, surreptitious or secret means. No? It is a secret means uh, of obtaining information regarding criminals, organized crime, subversive uh, elements and activities of foreign nation. The most common techniques in, of covert uh, operation include surveillance, uh, infiltration and uh, penetration. 
So ano ulit yung infiltration? It is the insertion of action agent inside the target organization. At pagka infiltration, anong klase ng agent ang gagamitin? Deep penetrating agent or uh, penetration agent. Pagka naman ang, gag ang operation po is penetration, it is the recruitment of action agent inside the target organization. So wag mong malilito doon sa dalawang technical term na yan. Infiltration is insertion of agent while penetration is recruitment. Okay? Then, overt method naman is the act of obtaining information through the use of open method through the employment of open source data is called overt method. It involves collection of information from open sources such as government records, census, statistics, commercial and business listing, and other printed materials available to the public such as newspaper publications. And of course, it also includes the internet. For example, gusto mong makita ang characteristics ng isang organized crime na gusto mong pasukin. Saan mo i-research yan? Pwede mong i-research po yan doon po sa internet or sa Google. Diba? So that is uh, uh, open source. So the method of gathering information is uh, through uh, overt uh, method. Number 5 po tayo mga kapangarap. Ano? In the processing cycle, it involves determination of pertinence, reliability, and accuracy or truth of the information, determination of the pertinence or significance of the information relative to the operation or current situation, the reliability of sources or the agency, and the accuracy of the information. So dito po tinitingnan yung reliability, okay, yung, uh, sabihin, yung kung gaano pinagkakatiwalaan yung sources at yung pong accuracy or gaano katotoo yung information. Letter A, analysis, B, collation, C, recording, D, uh, evaluation, E, integration, and F is interpretation. And the answer for this question is delta. So that is uh, evaluation. Okay? So, uh, ano nga ba yung pong analysis? No? Analysis is the uh, step wherein the collected information is broken into different components and isolate those that are relevant to the mission. Okay, so uh, yeah, isolate yung pong mga importante tungkol sa mission, no, yun lang po yung gugunin. Diba? Yung po ang analysis. Then, uh, yung pong collation is a grouping of information together where they belong after processing po yan. No? Collation. Kaya nga sa ibang mga uh, books, ano, yung pong collation ay tinatawag nilang parehas po sa processing. But, uh, in other uh, sources, yung pong collation is uh, last phase lamang ng uh, processing uh, stage. No? Last phase lang po yun. Kasi pagka natapos ng uh, evaluate yung information, pagsasama-samahin yung pong mga magkakasama ready for use. Okay? Ayan, for example po, no? yung pong uh, report ng mga police galing po sa region tungkol po sa mga cases. Yeah, yung lahat ng tungkol sa drugs, pagsasama-samahin po yun. Lahat ng tungkol sa murder, pagsasama-samahin po yun. Yung po ang tinatawag na collation. Grouping of the uh, uh, information or the intelligence information to together, ready for use. Okay, para yung pong mga national national leaders ay didesisyonan nila kung ano nga ba yung mga hakbang na gagawin dahil sobrang taas pala ng drug case o sobrang taas ng murder case. So, ganun po yung collation, no? Recording is simply the reduction of information into, into writing or some uh, form of graphic representation and arranging of information into uh, groups. Yan. So that is recording. No, I record it lang, no? Reduction of information into writing. Then uh, you have uh, evaluation, yun na nga yung uh, pinaka sagot kanina, no? Diyan tinitingnan yung uh, reliability ng source kung mapagkakatiwalaan ba yung pinanggagalingan ng information at uh, may katotohanan ba yung pong information, no? Yung pong uh, evaluation. Yung pong integration ay pagsasama-samahin lang po lahat ng mga impormasyon na nakakalap. That is already uh, integration, no? Then, uh, interpretation. Ano naman yung interpretation, mga kapangarap? This is the combination of all uh, those isolated information from various uh, sources. Okay? So, you will all... We, you will just combine all the information. Pagka sinabi nating uh, integration, sa interpretation is... Uh, the process 
of uh, providing meaning and significance of new information. So, tatandaan niyo po yan. Interpretation is the process in uh, wherein you will provide the meaning and significance of the information. Then, another step then, nakasali dito ay uh, synthesis. Synthesis is providing a conclusion based on the new information generated in relation to the current situation. Okay? So, question number 6 po tayo, no? What is the evaluation rating of intelligence if the source is completely reliable source and the information is probably true? Letter A, A1. Letter B, A2. Letter C, A3. And Delta is uh, A4, no? And the answer is bravo, that is E2. At makikita po yan doon po sa evaluation guide. Okay? So sa evaluation guide, meron pong uh, ginagamit sa reliability of information yung pong letters A to F. At yung pong accuracy of information ay yung pong 1 to 6. No? Yung pong reliability ay may acronym na KUFNUR. No? At yung pong accuracy ay may acronym na CPPD. Okay po? Ayan. So kapag ka A, ibig sabihin completely reliable, pag B usually reliable, C fairly reliable, Delta is not usually reliable, E unreliable, and F reliability cannot be judged. Kapag ka naman sa accuracy, 1 confirmed by other sources, 2 probably true, uh, 3 possibly true, then we have uh, 4 is doubtfully true, 5 is improbable, and Delta truth cannot be judged. Okay, question number seven. It is the criteria in dissemination which states that intelligence must be communicated to the right user on a specific period of time. So letter A, timeliness, B, propriety, C, processor, and delta, national leaders and military commanders. And the answer for this question is alpha. No? So ang layo naman kasi nung processor at saka national uh, leaders and military commanders dahil sila lang naman yung mga users ng intelligence. Okay? So what are the criteria in uh, disseminating information timeliness? The timely conveyance of intelligence to the end users or in the appropriate uh, manner by any suitable means. Timeliness, on time, di ba? Yan, nasa tamang oras. Eh, kaya nga, for example po, habay, kung uh, meron pong uh, nakalap na impormasyon na uh, sa lunes ay uh, sasakupin pala ng rebelde yung pong isang bayan. No? Alam nga namang magre-report ka sa lunes pa, inalaman mo yun uh, before Monday. So, dapat mag-report ka mas maaga. Di ba? On time dapat. Yan, eh, kaya nga, anhin mo yung damo kung patay naman na yung kabayo. No? Yan. Propriety naman, ano yung propriety? In dissemination of intelligence, the intelligence must be clear, concise, and complete. Okay, malinaw. Di ba? Maiksi, subalit malaman, at siyempre, ito po ay kumpleto. Yan. Uh, sino naman yung mga users ng intelligence uh, information, ladies and gentlemen, national leaders, yan, military commanders, and... Uh, of course, high-ranking officials or other high-ranking officials of the government. Yan. So, advisors and staff, uh, friendly nations, head, chairman of an organization, and uh, the like. Okay? So, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong walang kawang pakikinig dito po sa ating uh, uh, short video presentation na may title na Intelligence Cycle Part 2. Yan. So, kung uh, meron kang natutunan sa ating discussion, huwag kalimutang uh, Mag-subscribe at i-click yung bell button at click all para ikaw po ay ma-update. No? Yan, i-like mo na rin at syempre pwede mong i-share sa mga gusto mong matuto doon sa ating topic. Thank you and God bless you all.